Hey there you guys, how's it going? I'm sitting here today in my new and beloved giant oversized knitted jersey because it's freezing cold, it's the first day of winter officially and I know you guys are probably, or most of you are probably just, it's you're just starting with summer it's winter here officially today. It's Sunday today and I'm well and truly living Sunday to its glorious fullest. Mm. I'm full of pizza and a hangover. That's what Sundays are for, isn't it? Being this majestic and glorious. Mm. Anyway, if you're one of my friends who follows me on Facebook or Tumblr, you've probably heard me express at some point an unyielding wish to visit America. So today I thought I would just list a few of the reasons that I can think of of why I would like to visit America so much. Starting with, first of all, I want to try candy corn. I've always just seen pictures of it my whole internet life and it's just, it looks so cute and so, well, Halloween-y and cute and I want to try candy corn. I want to eat at Taco Bell and all the other wonderful greaseful fast food takeaway places I've heard so much about. Mm. I think I've heard most about Taco Bell so I want to try that. I want to be in the audience of a TV show I like. I really in particular would love love to see an episode of The Ellen Show live. I really would. I would love to see an episode of The Ellen Show live. I think that would be completely amazing. I guess there's something I've wanted to have the opportunity to, to say to Ellen or to tell her since I was maybe like eight years old or something when she had that um, TV show in the 90s. I want to understand sweet pumpkin flavour. In this country we have, you know, pumpkin soup and pumpkins only, they don't, we don't have very, we don't have sweet varieties of them here so generally pumpkins like a strictly savoury thing. And yeah, I hear, um, I hear people talking about, especially around Halloween and like autumn time over there, um, like, you know, pumpkin lattes and pumpkin pies and sweet pumpkin flavoured everything. Like, I hear that you can get pumpkin flavoured everything, so I really want to know what that's like. I want to try like a pumpkin latte, <laughs> a hot pumpkin flavoured frothy drink. <laughs> I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I also heard that there are like a million more kinds and varieties and flavours of sweets and soft drinks over there compared to here. I think that's probably something I would just actually go nuts for. I think if I were presented with a giant crazy novelty variety of different kinds of sweets, I don't know if I could really contain myself. I'm like really excited just like at the thought of lots of kinds of interesting different candy. I want to try all the American candy. I want all the American candy. All of it. I want to go to Disneyland. Disneyland! I mean, I guess I went to Tokyo Disneyland, but that was when I was, you know, like 13 or 14. And it was brilliant, it was extremely busy. But I want to go to the American version. Particularly, I, want, I would love so much to go to Bats Day. You know, every year I see people picking, putting up their, their pictures on the internet and their vlogs and you know, having gone to Bats Day and how much fun they had. And you know, it just looks so great. It just looks kind of like a lot of silly, sunshiny fun. And I look from a distance and I feel sad that I've had to miss out. I really, really want to go to Bat Day. I want to visit Hollywood. I want to walk through Hollywood and see if if it really lives up to its television reputation. I want to see if all the people in Hollywood really are as big and loud and colourful as they seem to be on TV. I, I really would like just to visit some big cities. Vegas, LA, New York. I want to know if, as Douglas Adams says, the air in New York smells like someone's been frying goats in it. <laughs> I'm always very impressed by big cities, like the city I live in isn't that big by like international standards but the place I moved from to get here was a lot smaller. I mean, I think there's only like maybe 150,000 people here for something, I don't know. But anyway, uh, one of the things that struck me when I arrived I was just like, buildings just keep going up. And it kind of blew my mind a little bit. Not only the cities, I want to see, you know, some other mountains. I want to see all the beautiful scenery. I want to see lakes and, oh, I want a white Christmas. Oh, that would be so nice. Like it's summertime here when it's Christmas and that's fine, it's lovely. It means like outdoor barbecues and that, you know, it's lovely in its own way, but I w it would be nice to, what's quite funny though is that people here will spray like fake snow, <laughs> like on their windows and stuff, it's like, it's summer guys. So yeah, it would be great to experience like a, um, a white Christmas. I would li I'd like to see the Grand Canyon, interesting 
beautiful scenery and different wildlife. I want, I want to do all that. I want to go to Walmart. Should I say I want to experience Walmart? <laughs> I want to go to Walmart. I want to experience what life is like in a world that doesn't have fish and chips. I want to learn what the fuck sharp cheese is. I guess I watch occasionally shows like Rachel Ray, they'll come on TV and they'll be like blah 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 sharp cheese and I, uh, it's probably stupid but like you know is it the taste of the cheese that's sharp or is it like the actual texture like is it actually like sharp cheese? <laughs> I don't know it's probably an incredibly stupid thing to wonder but I don't know. I also would like to experience, and I say experience rather than try, I probably wouldn't want to eat it, but um, aerosol cheese. I want to experience aerosol cheese from a can. Like I said, probably don't want to eat it. I think probably that would be taking it a step too far, but you know, cheese from a can, that's something I want to see. I would like to experience Thanksgiving because that looks nice. It, it always looks so lovely and warm and cozy and friendly. And you know, I like turkey. It'd also be great to see the 4th of July celebration because, I don't know, I love fireworks and any excuse to like have like a big, wonderful, exciting, firecracker filled party. I think that'd be a great thing to experience. I'd like to go to a renaissance fair. I understand they're actually quite like a geeky thing to do, which, you know, I'm definitely not a geeky person at all, but like, I just, this, we don't have anything like that here, at least not that I've ever heard of, and I just think it would be kind of an interesting thing to go to. I, you know, all these like people all dressed up and the whole the whole thing. It just looks like it would be quite like a fun thing to do of a day. So yeah, I'd, I'd like to go to a renaissance fair. Maybe just once. Maybe yeah, maybe just once. I'd like to go to a drive-in movie. I think that would be cool. I've seen drive-in movies in lots of, well, in lots of movies and TV shows and things. It's like a different kind of fun, more interesting way of like just going to the cinema. And more than anything, I want to go shopping. I just kind of imagine America being this giant like land of everything. Like, I mean, you might not, I mean, those of you who live there probably, you might not agree with me, probably because you're used to it. I mean, I'm from New Zealand where there is like, it's geographically, it's a lot smaller as well. Like some maps even forget to put it on. It's right down the very bottom of the world where no one remembers it. While I was overseas, I don't know how many people were like, oh yeah, New Zealand, yeah, that's like near Sweden, isn't it? Hmm. But even like the Facebook map of the world doesn't have New Zealand on it. Geographically and like physically, America is like much, much, much bigger. And so, I mean, there's a lot more people in it, there's a lot more shops, there's lots of, lots of cities and everything. I've just heard like so many people talking about all these wonderful shops that they go to or have been to uh, that sell like oddities, cool clothing, weird stuff, like alternative markets and things. I'd love to do that. That would be wonderful. Like, when I got off, when I was in London and I got off the tube station at Camden Town and I like, I walked out into all these shops and I thought I must have died and was in my own little nirvana because I was like, it's like, it's like the internet but in real life. I just really, really like to go shopping. I mean, like, there really aren't any kind of like alternative stores here, like at all. I want to go shopping so badly. I just want to go there and shop my face off. So yeah, there's a few reasons I can think of why I'd like to visit America. If you can suggest any other reasons why I might want to go, I mean, I don't think I need any further convincing or um, further persuasion. I mean, I can't until I have money. <laughs> to go anywhere. I want to go. All the above reasons are why. So yeah, if you can think of any other reasons why I might want to go, tell me. So anyway, yeah, thank you very much for watching and oh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Please subscribe. Um, I put out two new videos every week. Yeah, so thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.